My name is Desiree McCarthy Keith, and I'm a reproductive endocrinology and infertility specialist at Georgia Reproductive Specialists. I'm originally from North Carolina, and I attended the University of North Carolina in Chapel Hill for my undergraduate studies. And I had a great educational experience in Chapel Hill, and so I stayed in Chapel Hill for my medical education. Um, where I attended medical school and also attended the public health school in Chapel Hill and um, earned my master's degree in public health while I was there. Um, following medical school, I entered residency at Duke University, um, where I completed my obstetrics and gynecology residency. Um, following my residency in OBGYN, I practiced general obstetrics and gynecology for four years and I worked in both Chesapeake, Virginia and in Beaufort, South Carolina. And I took care of a lot of women, I delivered a lot of babies, and I really enjoyed my general OBGYN experiences. And I enjoyed taking care of women um, at the beginning of their reproductive years, throughout their reproductive years, and into menopause. One thing that struck me with my patients that I took care of in general OBGYN was how many women were facing fertility issues um, had fertility concerns and didn't necessarily know where to go for their fertility evaluations or how or when they should even initiate those evaluations. And so that stuck with me um, from the patients that I took care of and just continued on with my interest in reproductive medicine. Um, so after four years of practicing general OBGYN, I was able to um, pursue fellowship training in reproductive endocrinology and infertility at the National Institutes of Health in Bethesda, Maryland. Um, I really enjoy practicing reproductive medicine and I get a lot out of taking care of couples and individuals who are interested in building their families and I just think it's very rewarding to be able to help them um, to build their families. Um, one of the great things about our field is that we have options now to help couples who um, in the past, we're not able to conceive a pregnancy and who didn't have options, but now we have newer treatments and technologies that allow us to help couples who may not have been able to seek help in the past. So I'm very happy to be a part of the development of um, reproductive medicine and these techniques that we're now able to deliver to our patients.